Hey, it's Dad Maxson again, and today it's going to be East Meets West can of sorta. I'm going to show you how to fry up an entire whole snapper. Mmm, delicious. And I'm going to put a sauce together to pour on top that's big enough for a family. Serve with some cooked rice, it's a vegetable, it's a complete meal. I'm doing this series on fish because the kids are back to school. Give you some ideas how you can do easy meals, 30 minutes or less. No, I'm not Rachel Ray, but just showing you things. You can go to the to food line or some other major um, supermarket, Whole Foods. Get a few things, put them together. Nice, healthy, enjoyable for your family. Let's get started. As you can see, I've got a whole snapper. I've already taken all the scales off. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take a knife. This knife is very sharp. And I'm going to score it. I'm going to put three really large cuts into it on both sides almost to it touching the bone because you want to make sure that those holes in there so it'll cook quickly and evenly we will go ahead and flip it on the other side and do the exact same thing don't worry <laughs> the fish don't mind <laughs> okay so the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to take some Hawaiian sea salt and it's pink just like the snapper and I'm gonna get some on the inside I'm gonna get some inside the cavity kind of hard to do with this thing so I'm gonna put some in my hand rub it inside the cavity and then I'm gonna put some on the other side next thing I'm gonna do is I've got some cornstarch in a ziploc bag not a whole lot but you want to dust this thing in cornstarch. Now, the fish is wet. I patted it, patted it pretty much dry, but it's not completely dry because hey, it's a fish. Put it in a Ziploc bag and I'm going to toss it around. You want to make sure you get that cornstarch into those cuts. Because if you don't, your fish is going to fall apart instead of being all nice, moist, juicy, flaky, and whatnot. So, I'm just moving it around and I'm making sure I'm working into the cuts and this is an easy way to prevent a whole bunch of mess okay so I'm gonna fry this in a hot pan about five minutes aside nothing fancy about that you want it nice and crispy on both sides now while that's going I can work on my sauce yeah, which is kind of hard to do in my kitchen, but I'll do it anyway. All right, I'll grab another pan. You turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. okay, while the fish is cooking, we're going to go ahead and get started on our sauce. We're going to start out with a little bit of apple cider vinegar. We're going to add some rough cut onions. Little minced garlic you've got uh, about a third of a cup of ketchup just regular ketchup any kind you like we've got some diced peppers the not seriously spicy kind and we're going to finish it up with max and st thomas sauce uh probably about about three tablespoons so we're going to just give that a quick stir. We're gonna let it heat up. And we're gonna leave it alone. In the meantime, I'm gonna turn my fish. This is gonna be all crispy on one side. Let's take a look. Be careful to turn this away from you when you're cooking. Uh, not quite there yet. Just give it a, a couple of more minutes. But you can see all of the moisture is cooking out of it. That's what you want. You want nice and crispy on the outside, wonderful and juicy on the uh, inside. And if you'll take another look, you'll see my sauce starting to come together. You see it starting to boil a little bit. We're going to add probably a tablespoon of sugar to that just to give it some sweetness. We're going to take some of that extra cornstarch that we did not use on the fish. We're going to put it in, in that to thicken it up. So we'll see you in a second. Okay, 
my sauce is reducing. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of sugar just to kind of kill some of this acid and apple cider vinegar. That way the taste of the peppers are going to come out. And I'm going to finish it off in its totality with just a little bit of lemon juice. Just give it a quick squeeze in the pan. Just a little bit. I'm gonna take those seeds out. Travel. My fish is getting all nice and crispy. I need some to plate it up. We'll be back in a couple of seconds and we'll show you what it looks like. We'll plate it up. Okay, so as you can see, my fish is perfectly fried. Nice and crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside. And I'm gonna take my sauce that I cooked and reduced, and basically all you're gonna do is take that sauce and just smother it all over the fish. Grab some cooked rice, vegetable, you got a complete meal. This is Dad Smackson again from our table to yours. Showing you good things to eat, 30 minutes or less for this fish. You can make it just as good as I can or better with Smackson products. www.smackson.com. Hey, you got Smackson's. What are you going to do with it? Take care, everybody.